Welcome back, my wonderful friends. How you guys doing today? It's Chris here. Um, I've done a few things in the, in the meantime over here. Um, I've gotten a little bit closer to the tall neck. But uh, today what I want to do on this video is I want to I do the tall neck. That's my, my main goal. Uh, if we can get the, the tall neck, I'll be happy. Um, there's a lot of enemies over here, though. Uh, there's going to be a lot of sawtooths. And am I going the wrong way? Which way am I going? I want to go south. Ish. South ish. There it is, tall neck. So yeah, there's a sawtooth right there. We're gonna try and dodge these guys. I don't really feel like killing some sawtooths at this point. Ooh, I guess I can't dodge them. They're gonna see me. Oh god. The thing I wanted to try is I got my freeze arrows, man. I'm kind of excited. So I, I really have had no reason. To oh snap! I've had no reason to use chill water. So if we can get this guy frozen up, um, that's going to make me real happy. It's going to make everything do a crap ton more damage here. Man, oh man, freaking saw two up the wazoo. I think we're going to die. Alright. They're critical striking each other. That's always good. Alright. So we got some strong buddies up in here. They do not like going past this area, though. That's actually good. Believe it or not, it's actually kind of good. So let's use a potion. Um, the freeze arrows are not really working that well for me. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, you know, I'm, I've really not been happy with them. Um, I haven't been able to use my explosive things all that much because I don't really have that many, you know? Uh, but I could, I could use one more at least. Let them run into me, do at least 200 damage to them or whatnot. We can get a double hit here. Ooh, that's what I like to see. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. He's angry. Our rolls are not working very well, but they are going to work. Alright, well, let's restart here. We're just gonna <laughs> restart this bad boy. And, uh, and what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna fight the Sawtooths. Yes, I believe that is the best thing Another to do. Signal. Don't fight the Sawtooths. On our way to the frickin' Tall Neck. Gosh darn it, especially at night and stuff. These things are just annoying. It's like the only way to get through is through the Sawtooths, too. So it makes it even more upsetting. If there was only just one, I could deal with it. But three of them, dude? On top of long legs and crap? It's just, it's getting ridiculous. Maybe what I can do... Ooh, I got a good idea. I want to try again. I want to try and override this bad boy. He's so fast. He walks faster than I crouch. So I got to do like a weird cutoff. To have them not see me. Or hide behind a tree. Alright, so I think we're gonna actually override this guy. Unless the other one saw me somehow. Um, I believe he just starts attacking the other ones, though. But, uh, here we go. We've got a fight on our hands here. Oh, I'm killing my own one. Oh, no! What's going on? I can't see! Ah! We're not getting hurt somehow. Holy crap, Ola, man. Save me, little buddy. Save me. Save me, my friend. And there we go, we freaking knocks him on the ground. Oh, baby. This is what we call aggressive gameplay right here. This guy saves my life. He's on fire, though, for some reason. Who put him on fire? 
long legs put them on fire. Woo! I didn't know they shoot fire beams. Fire blasts. There's another fire blast. Ooh, it actually hurts pretty bad, too. Well, not as bad as a lot of other things, to be honest. I'm pretty far away from it. Why does it keep shooting me so much, though? Like, I, I've seen him, like, before, but not, like, this often. I guess if that's all he's got to do. Just gotta dodge it, I guess. And we can't even dodge it! Just gotta do the rolls at the perfect time. And there we go, we crit strike him. He's about to fall off, too. Maybe get one of these chill waters hit, too. I am. What arrow? Oh, I'm using the wrong arrows. That's my problem. There we go. Hardpoint arrows for the win. Now, that other guy is just about to be done being my buddy. He's going to be an enemy soon. So, um, after all that's said and done... Oh, here's another one. Let's see if I can override this one. Boom! Silent override. So we're gonna override this one, and we're gonna go fight the other one. I could have just re-overrid the other one, but uh, I think this is the way to do it, guys. We're gonna just have him come on over here and fight him. And I'm just gonna leave this one to, to his own uh, design. We'll just let him do whatever he wants. Hopefully, I don't have to fight him. Um, where's my buddy, though, man? You gotta come save my life. Oh, they made a smart move right there. There we go. Get in that fight. We take them down. Look at that. Oh, we get a rare. Oh, I love it. We get a tear coil. I don't really like that that much, but uh, I'll, I'll accept. I accept your tear coil. So we're going to head on over here. We killed one of the... Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I going? How do I get up here? <laughs> All right. I'm really surprised it let me up here. I'm pretty sure this is how we jump onto the tall neck. Um, it just makes sense. Oh, 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 long legs. So now he's going to shoot some beams at me, or what is this? There's another one! What are they doing? They're being stupid is what they're doing. Oh, and we crit him! Oh, we knocked, did we knock both of them off? No, we didn't knock both of them off. But, we killed the chill water. And that blows both of them up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a lot of guys coming towards me, I think, right now. Let's see. Nope, they're pretty far away. Echo shells. So what do I even... I don't even know, what honestly, what I need to build things. I've just always... Oh, here we go. Is this where I jump? There we go. All right. Now I just all right. Have to reach its I'm in the same boat as uh, her. It's funny because honestly, we say the same things a lot. She's like, "All right, well, let's go. This is good. This is fantastic." So these guys, they want to see me, but they don't. We end up getting to the tall neck, and we're overriding him. So I think you only get like 4,000 experience for overriding one of these tall necks. It's it's not all that good. But uh, realistically, it's not about the tall neck being difficult in itself. You literally just climb it up and do it. It's about everything else kind of in the way of the tall neck. So we're just going to rappel down real down real quick. Um, I'm going to check out the map after we do this because I feel like the map is going to open up for us in a lot of cool ways. I think you also kill a lot of the, the guys that are nearby. I kind of forgot about that. That's what that electrical pulse does. And we're almost level 29. Skip. Oh. So we get 7,500 experience for that. Oh, so we actually... Oh, I never realized that. We actually get skill points for doing this quest. That's why I always feel like sometimes like I, I got a skill point. I got two skill points, but I didn't go two levels kind of thing. So, um... Double shots. What are you guys thinking? Eh. Eh. 
Let's do the double shot and the triple shot. It's something that I don't really even use that much, but uh, it's, it's it's cool to have. Let's see, how do I do it? Use R1 while aiming to notch an extra arrow. So I go like this, I press R1, I can put two arrows in here. And the great thing is you don't have to like shoot it right away, you can save it for later. Oh yeah. All right, so where are we going now, boys? Let's go on over to, first of all, let's go to this campfire. Oh, look at that, we got crazy people everywhere. We're gonna go on over to this campfire, and we're gonna basically head on over to this cauldron right after that, though. That's my job, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Um, you know what? Campfire, I'm good. Now let's, let's save. Dude, I, <laughs> I, I think it automatically saves, but I would rather not take the chances on uh, having to redo that nonsense, guys. Let's just say it was straight up ridiculous. So let's head, let's head straight to the cauldron. I think that's the best thing for us to do right now. It's only 450 meters away. That's really not that far overall. Um, there's supposedly some stalkers in the way. I think those were stalkers. I don't think they were ravagers. Um, I, honestly, I prefer ravagers over stalkers. To be completely honest, look, it's really like what? Is it over the hill? Under the way? To grandmother's house we go. La 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 la. So we found the stalkers. All right, machine sight discovered. Well, those got to be the stalkers, right? Oh, it's a fire bellow back with a stalker and a watcher. If I'm not mistaken, I can override. I can override something. Oh, I missed that second one. Boom, 75 damage. 120 damage, boom. 100, 120. Oh, this guy's gonna be dead soon. Oh, crap. Oh, I can't believe it didn't hit me with that. That roll was boss. And there's another one trying to attack me. Oh, he shot me. No. Got that cannon shot off. Alright, alright. Where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Is there really three of them here? So if so, that's straight up ridiculous. Get away, get away. Let me get one more shot off. One more shot. Bam! Taking down two. I think there's another one over here though. He is, he's shooting me right now. Oh, Where'd he go? Oh, what the heck? He is invisible like a mofo. Alright, we got another crit hit on him. Now those crits don't last all that long on the stalkers. They just get right back up. They get they can just go right back at it, man. So holy crap, Bola. We knocked a bunch of his parts out over here. Metal vessels, 201. So metal vessels obviously are not the thing that I need all that much. What do we need? Um. Yeah, I don't know what those are. Echo shells, maybe? That's probably what they are. So I picked up most of the stuff that we needed. We killed three freaking stalkers all in one little tiny area. We got a delicious amount of wire and metal shards and stuff out of that guy. Uh, but you know what I didn't fight, though? I didn't fight the fire bellowback. He didn't come by. I thought I scanned him. I thought he was right on over here somewhere. Oh, a destroyed Fire Bellow back. That's what he was. Okay. Well, that makes it a little bit better, I suppose. <laughs> makes me, I, know, I was like, oh my god, we gotta fight stalkers on top of Bellow backs on top of what else are we gonna have to fight? <laughs> so looking at this map, it looks like we have to go north to go around to get over to this thing. So, let's do that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit of out, of out of our way. When I play this game for a while, my my eyes 
start to hurt pretty bad. I start to get watery, and I don't feel like I see as well as I, I probably should. Though, I honestly have to say that my contacts, they're pretty freaking old at this point. Oh boy, are they? So we got some more stalkers over here, are you kidding me? Oh, there's multiple. I really don't want to fight multiple stalkers again. Let's see if we can sneak around them. There's a signal here. Alright. I think we might have snuck around them. We might have made it, boys. We can go just a little bit further. I, I felt like I fought enough. Okay. Just let me out now. Let me out. The jungle area, though, man. Th it's like, okay, we go from fighting, like, maybe some chargers or something like that to fighting frickin' stalkers. Like, nonstop. Are you kidding me? That's just a joke right there. I found a fire bellabax site. At this point, I'm like, I'll take some fire bellabax. You know, I'll take some fire bellabax for sure over that, uh, over some stalkers. The problem with the stalkers is is you don't know when they're going to randomly just to go, like, shoot you twice and kill you. You know, that's the scary part. So I think we're just about here. Um, Cauldron XI. Xi. This one? Is there people here? Ooh, there's people here. There's definitely people here. Alright, lots of people. I just got blasted with like five freaking arrows. So, uh, looks like these people are going to be pretty difficult for us. I'm to shot a fire arrow. Nope. Fire arrow. Boom. Explode those bad boys. Alright, so there's a lot of people we're going to have to take down here. Obviously, we've got enough metal shards, but do we have enough of everything else? These guys are pretty strong. Um, oh my god. That's the guy we gotta take down right there. He's got a rattler. He's got a freaking rattler. Look at these curving arrows. Water damage. Another 100 damage, and we finally take down the rattler. so far away. Alright. Ugh. There we go. We got a headshot on him somehow. <laughs> I'll take it. So these guys aren't that strong, but they are kind of annoying. There's another one. Just get a headshot on. Oh, what?! I feel like my arrows are not going as straight as they possibly should. Alright, here we go. One last arrow. Bam. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So it looks like all these people have shag shine glass or whatever. Ooh, we've got some keys. So I think what they wanted you to do, they wanted you to at least kill one. I think that's what they wanted you to do. Maybe there's more excavation keys around here or something like that. Because they all have something green, you know? Um, yep, more excavation keys. And more excavation keys. So I wonder if these even like take up space in my 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 bag. They shouldn't. Just some regular metal shards. Here's the Deathbringer gun. Oh baby. Oh. So I don't really need that for right now, but uh, it's cool. Um. <laughs> oh, there is more people up here. No, he's got desert glass. So maybe there was only a few random keys. Maybe we just need five keys. Maybe there's like five doors in here. I don't remember that, but uh, interesting to think about. Oakley Oakley, let's go. How do we get up? Open door. I didn't realize that was a door. Well, hello! How are you doing today? <laughs> hello, how are you? Hey, you guys doing pretty good? I'm, do I'm doing okay. 
So we're going to use a regular potion right here. We got uh, nine potions now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to be fighting people all day today, not the giant machines. I think that's kind of exciting. We're probably going to have to finish off the, the cauldron by fighting machines. But up until that point, it's probably going to be mostly people. Um, you know, I honestly don't really mind fighting uh, people all that much. They're, they're pretty simple. They're simpletons. They know what they want. What do we get? Rusted scrap. Rusted scrap. That's not good. I don't want any rusted scrap. Ooh, more peeps in here. We get a nice, um... Alright, let's just take him down. Alright. I need to hold it down. I'm, I'm pressing it a little bit too early, I think, and that's what's making me miss a lot. So we get potions again. This is kind of nice. Um, every time you get hit with an arrow, you basically gotta use a potion. It's just the way it works. So let's head on down. Boom, boom, boom. No more excavation keys. We're getting desert glass. This is a place where I feel like there would be like a secret area. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks like a secret area over there. Let's go. Let's go on. Let's head on over to the secret area, guys. Let's see if there's something cool down here. Oh yeah. They like to. They like to hide these places right around. Um, in the. In these types of areas, we get 166. Yeah. Oh yeah, and 11 echo shells. That's what I'm talking about. Basically, I use an echo shell per blast trap. Right around there. You know, I mean, look at this. Ooh, I didn't know there's a map for this area. I just don't normally look at the map um, when we're in one of these places. That makes it sort of interesting, though. So. That must have been a cave-in, a big one. Investigate the cultist presence at the cauldron. Yes, we will do that. So. I guess this is the way we're going to do it. Are there people down here, too? Oh, gosh. There are. Oh, no. These guys are going to come out of the woodwork, aren't they? Ooh, some shagshalon glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Nice close one for us. Alright, so lots of people kind of running at me right now. Uh, they are... stupid. Oh, God. The dodging abilities, bro. The dodging abilities. They got dodging abilities, too, though. It's kind of... I think the problem is I hold my oh, my eyes open too much, and oh, see that's hard to see. Oop, on ammo again. I kind of like having 50. You know, I can craft four of them pretty easily. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Oh yeah, another one bites the dust. Oh man, I'm probably gonna get hit with copy right now, guys. I'm singing songs. Ah, oh, they're really good at dodging these days. This guy seems like he's unfair. He's got like a rattler or something. I don't know what the heck that was, but I, I didn't like it. It's like. Triple hit, triple hit. So, we are almost through this area, guys. There's only, I think, one more guy to kill in the entire area. I have not been liking the Shadow War Bow, though. Uh, the Shadow Bow itself is pretty solid, but the Shadow War Bow, not liking it. It's not been cool, man. The, the corruption is just meh. Yeah. The uh, ice is just psh, meh. The, um... Shock is obviously also just meh. I just like my regular arrows. Is that weird? Does that make me a weird person? I don't know. 
So let's let's heal ourselves all the way up, guys. Okay, who's over here? Who wants to go? There's at least one of them that I know of. Ooh, there's something purple over there. Oh, baby, purple. That's what I like to see. Aloy, I know you like purple too. Purple's your favorite color. It goes purple, then blue, then green. And then anything else is just whatever. Okay. So, this is not the way we need to go. Where do we need to go? We need to follow the people. Where are the peoples? Where's the next dead body? Come on, oh, here's the next dead body. <laughs> oh, man. I love when I can make myself laugh. It also shows how tired I am. I've been playing a lot of these when I'm, uh, I guess, kind of late at night, you know? Uh, it's when I have the most time to uh, just chill out here and play. I feel like there could be something hidden back here. Could be, but isn't. Or I'm just not good enough at finding it. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a finderer. I'm a killerer. That's what I do for a living. I kill things. I also was um, sort of curious that this was just a giant uh, fall. You know what? And this is one of the games where when you fall into something over here, you don't just fall down into nothingness and die. Um, you fall down into water. Now usually this would be just a giant uh, trap, just a giant pit. This is a really tiny little area for us to go through. How many more people are we gonna have to fight? They're all they're so deep in here, man. Is that a person? I really can't tell. Override the core. So it looks like there are a bunch of people here. No monsters. Oh come on. He's got a Deathbringer gun though. That's why we gotta take him down first. Ooh, this is gonna be a little exciting. Um you can't evade the shadow. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I think that's ex gonna explode. Oh, it did explode it. Slow it down. And yes! <laughs> Killed so many of them right there. So there's still a couple of uh, a couple left. Um, not really too worried about it, though. Let's see what we got. There's one guy right here. He's just a regular archer. He's got a little extra health on himself, but it doesn't mean nothing, man. We went out, we came out with more health than we went into that giant fight. I think. So let's override the core and make our way out. Let's see what they're so afraid of. Um now I wonder if we're gonna have to fight people back out or if we're gonna finally start fighting robots. It doesn't really make sense to start fighting robots on the way out. There's probably just gonna be a bunch of random people. Usually they just let you out. But today I don't think they're gonna they're gonna be nice like that. They're gonna make us fight our way out. Um, defend the core. Are there people coming already? I have to defend for two minutes. Where are they coming from? Oh, there they are. Alright. That's cool. I don't really know what, what it means to defend the core. Oh, that's gonna explode. Oh, goodness gracious, it exploded. I gotta take this guy down for sure, man. There we go. Am I not defending the core? I'm not sure what it means by defend the core. <laughs> like, are they trying to kill it or what? Oh, we're actually got some, we got some machines in here now. They're gonna help me defend the core. Who do I kill? I would say, you know what? I'm just gonna drop down a couple of these blast wires, and whoever runs into them, well, they die. I'm just gonna protect myself in this corner over here. Oh, there we go. We need to break, use the Deathbringer gun, I think. No! And we died! Uh -huh. I was started healing too, it just didn't happen automatically. It's weird. You know, because the, the, 
that thing, when you use the, the medicinal herbs, it takes like a little while to actually get it going. The health potions are instantaneous, but you stand there. So let's see, what ha what happened? Where, where are we at right now? Oh, all we gotta do is defend. Okay, I can do that. You know, let's try defending from a different spot, though. Let's go up here instead, if we can. Can we go up? I don't think we can go up, guys. I don't think we can go up. So, oh, here we go. There's some people. I got the wrong arrows on. I can't believe they did that to me, giving me the wrong arrows like that. Yeep. Oh, there's the Deathbringer guy. You know what? We got a fire. So there's people everywhere, man. They're coming out of the freaking woodwork. I think my spot back there was actually probably better. Get out of here. Use a potion real quick. There's a nice little nook for me to hide in. I like nooks. <laughs> I like... Oh, there we go. Here's where they're all going to start coming at me now. Come on. Everybody's getting shocked right now. I don't know why. Alright, there we go. Three blast wires. That's probably good. One, two, three. We're just gonna go all the way. Four. And that's the guy that I gotta kill for sure. The rabbit. He's gonna be the one that's gonna take me down, man. He is too strong. Look at that good 50 damage, it like doesn't even hurt him. Come on, three five damages. There we go, I finally take him down. Oh no, don't get me! He got me! I can't see nothings. Oh, we got a blast wear happening. Okay, that one's down. So it looks like the machines didn't... Ooh, what do we got? There's still some more peoples. They're actually attacking me too, not the dinosaurs. Maybe we took down enough dinosaurs for them to want to start killing me again. Oh, they got a Deathbringer guy. Freaking everywhere, man. This is it. All right, you last one. We might have gotten them all. Bam! We defended for two minutes. We did it. We did it. We're the winners of the world. Oh, that was a bunch of things to friggin' pick up over here. We just got. Uh, we just killed probably. I don't know. Thirty people, five dinosaurs. Oh, they don't. They don't want me to pick up any more keys. Like Chris, you got enough keys. Don't worry about it, buddy. You got ten keys. We're not even gonna let you hold anymore. So now we're going to, I guess, climb out of here or what? I honestly don't freaking know. Save these for the trail. Usually, it, this leads me to the the front, you know? Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, large machine core. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and make our way up over here, I guess. We killed a bunch of them right here. See, this would make sense. I just, like, walk out here and be like, oh, I'm done. Chris, you made it. You're good. But they're not going to do that. They're not going to be nice to me today. See, we killed a lot of them right here. <laughs> Four, literally, literally four dead bodies right here. And they're giving me some, like, nice, cool potions and everything, too. Probably save those for the boss fight or whatever. So can we go back? We can't go back there. I gotta climb up somehow. How do I climb up? Looks like that could be where I'm supposed to go. Climity, climity, climb. One little jump. Two little jumps. And yes, this is the way, I believe. Don't know if this was the only way, but I believe it is the way. Gotta find our way out of this place, man. This hellhole. 
get out of this metal hell hole. Look at all these torches and everything. Yeah, you, know, you don't think about it, but uh, this little tiny bit of light can really helping us out. Oh, we almost killed ourselves. Oh, come on, more. At least they were easy. Oh, that means they know we're here. Oh, we got a freaking stalker here. Are you kidding me? There he is. He's going to get hurt real bad. Oh, buddy. I feel like he should have got hurt worse, though. He should be, like, dead already. And there we go. All right, so we took down a stalker. Um, without even getting damaged, by the way. We got kind of lucky. Oh, so yeah, he didn't go through two blast traps. He should have gotten through two blast traps, but he, like, jumped over it, I guess. He jumped over by getting hurt. It doesn't make any sense. So is this where I'm supposed to go? I'm supposed to override this thing? Okay, so I'm going to leave that way. But I'm just curious about how the stalker came... I mean, he came from up here. So what's up here? Like, what am I, what am I doing over here? Like, what is this area? Like, why does it exist? I don't get it. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, is that freaking lava? <gasps> so you can fall off and die in Horizon Zero Dawn. I've n I never noticed there was freaking lava down here. Holy crap! That would be a terrible way to die. Dumb ways to die Falling in the lava So this is a new way to leave, I'm guessing. I hope. Nope. We're back in this stupid zone. Gosh darn it. There's another stalker out here. You kidding me? You kidding me? Alright. We're gonna pop down a couple of these bad boys just in random spots. Um, the wire didn't hit too far. Too far. Is that the first time they're gonna tell me that? There we go. That was a nice shot, man. And here we go. There's the stalker. You know, honestly, if you can, I don't even know what makes him invisible, but if you can just make him non-invisible, uh, pretty much game over. Just being able to see him is just a huge freaking help. I also love that if you hurt him enough, so uh, these guys got him under under their control. Are you kidding me? So I don't even know what we're gonna fight here. Um, people, dinosaurs. You know, usually if it's just one, you can deal with it, but if you don't freaking know. Makes it way worse. So you guys can see me. I don't really care. I don't really care. Um. I feel like there's another stalker somewhere, and he's gonna get the jump on me, and it's just gonna go. It's gonna go. It's gonna go real bad, real fast, guys. I have that. I have this weird feeling. Echo shell, that's what I need. Echo shells. So let's see, what else we got over here, guys? Some ridge wood. They're actually giving me a lot of resources for being inside a freaking metal area. So, I've already been here. Where am I supposed to go? I got, I went in a circle. I got lost somehow. Let's map it up. Where are we going? We want to go... Climb the pillar. Okay, we want to go there. <laughs> that makes it easy. Ugh, gonna have to run I see some electricity. Way. Don't like the idea of electricity, guys. Anybody over here? Any stalkers? Any stalk monsters up in here? I'm stealthing it for now. I am. I'm a little afraid. I'll admit it. Oh, there he is. There he is. I knew it. So there 
he is. We're gonna switch to our regular arrows. And there we go. So this is a damaged guy. Oh man, we got that crit hit on him too. Alright. Sadly he oh no. There's freaking another one right here. Definitely two stalkers right here, guys. They don't know where I'm at, though, for some reason. Oh, I fell in the water. Eep. There we go. A few more hits. And one is down. 1,000 experience for that guy. Where's the other one now? Where is he hiding now? Oh, we got him! <laughs> we got him with our wires. Sweet. Sweet titties! Alright. So if I'm not mistaken, um, I believe that is everything. I sure hope it is. It would make sense for it to be everything. Oh, there's a death gunner or something. I don't know what he is. Maybe we can stealth kill him. Oh, bad move, bad move on my part. Should not have done that. Stupid headshots, man. I've, I could have made it up here, though. I Maybe, maybe I should have just done that. I, oh, what? There's another guy. If I just made it up here, I could have gotten the Deathbringer gun really quick and uh, just killed the stalkers that way. Eh, it's a possibility. I don't know if that would have been the best way to do it, but it's definitely a possibility. Alright, I just fell down. I don't even feel like dealing with any of that random crap over there. We're just going to jump out of here, guys. Let's climb on out. Let's get out of this heckity hole. It scares me. Got to override something? No. doesn't make much sense, but okay. Almost out of here. Like, I don't know why they made me do that. Oh, there's more of them. Are you kidding me? Alright, there are more. They were sleeping. Oh, there's dinosaurs here, too. They're killing the guys, though. That's good. What is that? Can't believe he dodged that thing. Oh no! We ran out of ammo at the worst time. We always seem to run out of ammo at the worst freaking time. This isn't a stalker, is it? No, that's the way too weak to be a stalker. That's a freaking scrapper, man. That's just a baby scrapper. This guy looks like he's stuck. <laughs> oh, he's definitely stuck up there. Alright, I don't know. After you hit him once, though, he might not be stuck. Got a lot of them up there. Let's see if we can just fire arrow it. Blow him up. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Alright, so lots of craziness just happened right there. Um, overall, it went pretty smoothly, I'd say. i got to pick up all the random stuff that they've all dropped. I have to. It's just my job, guys. It is my job. If I don't pick them all up, I will be upset. Got eyes on them. So, these people... Oh, come on. Try to run. You always got to keep moving, because you don't know who else is looking at you. You know? I mean, if there's more than one guy... They're going to be shooting at you from the side, so just moving a little bit front, a little bit back, a little bit uh, all over the place. Make you real happy. We get a nice little moving headshot right there, guys. You don't get to do that all that often. You know, honestly, most people just kind of stand still. They might do like a little bit of sidestep or something like that, but they usually don't do anything too crazy. We all might right. Have trouble. 
Oh, there is more. Just a few, though, I think. Just two more. Ooh, look at that. That's the head bob I'm talking about. That's the head bob. And we get our health potions back. That's why I've been using all my health potions, because we keep getting health potions from these guys. Um, I've got some supply boxes and stuff as well. Those are going to help. Where do we want to go? So I wonder if we have to kill people out here again as well. We updated. We completed the cauldron. Oh, of course. Freaking birds here. It's a Deathbringer gun. <laughs> I don't know who to attack. Let's pick up the Deathbringer gun. See what we can do with this thing. You can't roll or do anything with it, though. You just kind of have to, to deal with it. There's a lot of things here. Holy crap, there's a lot of things here. Oh, man. We gotta kill this bird. Take down that bird. Oh, we're out of ammo already. Alright, wonderful. Come on. So we get another Deathbringer gun over here. Eep. Come on. I can't move. I'm stuck in it. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. I had to use so much stuff right there. That's just upsetting. So this thing's not very accurate. We're learning. How can this thing not hit these people? <laughs> so I should use my arrows. Like, the Deathbringer gun is just terrible. Even though there's a lot of them, man, they're just terrible. At least we get 700 experience for killing one of these guys. That's not too shabby. No time um, to what was in there, man? There's a lot of stuff in there. This guy had three health potions. Oh, I should have been using my health potions. I just, uh... I was an idiot, and I didn't. Something blue. No, don't want your stupid Deathbringer. Eh. Just me. Whatever. Just some regular stuff. Another blue thing. Some shag slide. Some shag slide glass. Oh, and we get the purple. Ravager, a 49% freeze coil. I'm guessing it goes anywhere from like, uh, a rare is anywhere from like 25 to 50%. I'm guessing. It's my best guess. That's all I can really do. Uh, Alright though, guys. We did it. That's the end. Um crazy ride not gonna lie we started off killing some uh some stalkers it led to some sawtooths led to more stalkers led to eventually us getting down into this cauldron and completing the cauldron by fighting and killing millions of people as well as a bunch of stalkers again so uh I've, i'm kind of done with stalkers i just don't even want to deal with them anymore i think for um next video what i want to do is i want to start doing the main missions again so um, I've got the trophies, that's pretty sweet. But realistically, I want to go and talk to Olin at the excavation site. We're going to kill him there. Um, you know, I know that, like, yeah, his parent, you know, his family was threatened and whatever. We're still going to kill him. That's just the way I like to roll. Uh, and, um, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. There's some things to do over here and stuff. But honestly, even if we just went to this fire... Like, if we had to go get to the Vantage or something like that, it's, like, not that far away. I didn't even know this random town existed. It's cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me. I'd appreciate that a bunch. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, have a super duper, a delicious day.